started in fourth grade on flute in the band program just like everybody else um, that wanted to pick an instrument and then my parents moved we moved to a new school district and my parents were looking for extracurricular activities for me so they found a junior youth orchestra in our new town and I went and tried out it was not very good on the flute and didn't get in so I, I was pretty upset about it and my mom called the conductor to say what can we do if she's really interested in this what can we do and the conductor said competition is so stiff with an instrument like the flute there are so many people who play it that perhaps you should try an instrument if she's really into it try an instrument that not too many people play and she suggested either the oboe or the bassoon and so my parents did the research and looked for teachers and they found a local teacher who taught oboe but his studio was full so we decided to try the bassoon instead and it stuck. <laughs> the best thing about playing under Seiji Ozawa in, in high school was I think it was my first opportunity to actually play under somebody who was so amazing who just oozed musicality and, and understanding of the, of the music that we were playing and that the, the result of that amongst the players, that he was able to whip us all into this musical fervor that I had never felt before. We did Jupiter, we did, um, and so he would play and the thing was that when we got to the middle section in the concert, which was this big, lyrical, wonderful melody, he just stopped conducting and just sort of just moved to the music instead of beating his stick. And yet, and the orchestra just kept playing and playing and that feeling was just an unbelievable moment. I graduated from my master's degree and got married in 96 and moved to Indianapolis. And when you move to a new town as a musician, you have to break into the freelance scene, and that takes a really long time. It took nine months before I got my first gig in Indianapolis, so I was leaving town and playing elsewhere, and so I decided I probably should take the time that I had and maybe try to start taking auditions and start practicing for auditions. And bassoon jobs, there aren't very many in the whole scheme of things, and so you sort of have to wait and hear the Fort Worth Symphony had a second bassoon opening. Didn't know where Fort Worth was on the map, but I said, let's, let's try it. This will be a good one, second bassoon. It'll be a good one to start with and see how things go. I was working part-time in an accounting office and was practicing in the mornings before I'd go to work. And the audition was July, early July, and in early June, my husband, who is a big bicycle racer, decided to go out for one of his tri-weekly rides after work and was hit by a car. He wasn't hit by the car specifically, but the man that tried to pass him had two by fours sticking out of the passenger side window and nailed him in his, in his lower back and threw him over the bike. So uh, he thankfully had no broken bones. He, of course, was wearing his helmet. <laughs> and, um, but he was road rash from top to bottom and had some pretty serious deep muscle bruises and couldn't walk for a long time. So I just stopped practicing <laughs> and was just nursing him and dealing with all of that. And um, I just said, I can't, I'd, I think I'd even already bought the plane ticket. And I just said, I can't, I can't do this. This is too much. And I got about two weeks, two weeks went by and suddenly Nate says to me, why aren't you practicing? And I said, uh, I think that's pretty obvious <laughs> as we're changing uh, dressings and everything. And he said, no, no, no. He said, please, I do not want to be the reason for you not pursuing your career. So all of a sudden then I started panicking because I hadn't been playing for two weeks. And so I um, 
set myself on a schedule and did not budge from it seven days a week where I would get up in the morning and I would sit in my practice chair from 8 until 11 every morning and I would go to lunch, go to work, come home and play the lists a few more times and came down to Fort Worth and couldn't believe it when I actually won the job. So. The best thing about playing the Fort Worth Symphony, I think, is the community support. The audiences that come, you just can feel it every time you play a concert, how much they appreciate what you're doing. And another thing, too, and I don't know if this is just because my Fort Worth Symphony, since this is the only orchestra I've played with, but for the most part, I would say that I am so happy on the stage while I'm playing. You know, it's that that thing that you just know that you're doing the right thing because you just, problems that might be in the rest of your daily life just sort of melt away while you're actually on the stage playing.